Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Karen, aka K to Baby BK, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something different. We are doing a hair tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to achieve this big, bouncy, wavy, sexy, blowout style hair using the Con Air hot rollers, or any hot rollers. But before we get into that, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Looking like a hot mess express right now, but let's go over some of the items that you're gonna need to achieve this look. This is optional, but I always like to start out with a little bit of dry shampoo because I do like to do this look on second and third and beyond day hair. For me personally, this style never really holds that well on freshly washed hair, which is why I like to do it on dirty hair. Second thing on the list is a heat protectant. I'm using the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. Start of the show, these are the Con Air hot rollers. I got this on Amazon along with a pack of these clips to help hold them in place because they unfortunately do not stay on their own. And the last thing is some hairspray. This is the Got To Be Glued Blasting Freeze Spray. This is such a strong hold, which is what my hair needs because it falls flat really easily if it's not styled with like super high heat. So this is my go-to. All right, let's get into it. First, we are gonna use our Redken Dry Shampoo. This is the Deep Clean Dry Shampoo. I have been loving this for months. This is my second bottle. Truly my favorite dry shampoo that I have ever tried and I have tried a lot. I'm very picky when it comes to dry shampoo. We're just gonna spray this in the roots because your girl's looking a little bit oily. I'm massaging the dry shampoo deeply into my roots and scalp. Before I do this, I like to have it sit for about a minute to two minutes so we can really tackle those oils. We're just gonna run a brush through the ends just to make sectioning off a little bit easier. This is a brush from GHD, and this is also gonna help disperse that dry shampoo as well. All right, now we are going to section the hair. I always section it off half and half, so I parted it down the middle. In this pack, there are two sizes. There is a skinnier barrel and a larger, fatter barrel. So we are gonna start with the skinnier ones at the top of our head. Before we do that, let's apply some heat protectant. I like to take about that much, rub it around in my hands, and just apply it to the ends. All right, let's get it going. Taking the skinnier barrel, I'm gonna place that right around like the center of the strand. We're gonna wrap the remaining towards the left side, and then we're gonna roll to the base. Take a clip and set that there. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna go down the rest of my head and it's super important to keep the rollers even as you go down. So if I place one in on the left side, I'm gonna do one in the same region on the right. All right, we have four in. We're just gonna continue to do the rest of the head. Again, starting at the middle of the strand, wrapping the remaining, and also simultaneously wrapping up because the hair that you wrap up from this section is gonna keep the remaining strand in place. Gonna tuck that in. And don't worry if you have extra ends sticking out, this portion is kind of sticking out, it's gonna stay in place with the clip. And the way that I do it, you wanna clip towards the bottom and kind of catch the remaining hair that's still laying flat against your head that's not part of the roller. This is really gonna help with this shape right here and it's not gonna have a crimp because if you clip it too far out like this, it's gonna fall flat and the curler is going to create this weird angle. Let's do it again with this side. Again, starting at the middle of the strand, wrapping the remaining, roll up, wrap the remaining. Ah! And roll up. All right, once we get to the end, I'm gonna start using the larger rollers and we're gonna do bigger sections of hair. All 
And for the last remaining bits, I don't curl all the way up to the top. I just curl the ends and hold it there with the clip. So here's how I do that. You make sure the hair is pointing up. And as you roll up, you're gonna fold this in. So again, this portion of the hair is gonna hold the ends into the ruler. I'm not gonna lie, doing these rollers is pretty difficult, but you get the hang of it as you keep doing it. So again, we're starting off right here, and we're gonna put this hair down as we roll up, and keep rolling. Clip, and let it rest on the shoulders. So we're definitely looking a little bit crazy and we are actually going to let this set until these rollers are completely cooled off. For me, I keep them in for at least an hour so it can stay throughout the day. But in that time, I like to get all of my makeup done. I like to get changed. And by the time that I'm done, it's usually an hour or maybe even more. So I'm gonna do all that and I will be right back. All right, we are back. The makeup is done and it is time to start taking these out. I believe it's been over an hour at this point because I was doing a million other things. But let's start from the bottom. So it's not super curly because the barrel is bigger on this one, but it just has like this really nice bounce to it. Oh my God, you can't even see because my camera. Ugh. But look at that, look at that curl. And as soon as I take each section out, I like to go in with the got to be freezing spray. Just like a really light spritz. Okay, maybe it's not so light. Oh. zhuzh it up a little bit. And I just like to run my fingers through it a little bit after I've hairsprayed to kind of just break up the little chunks because this hairspray is ultra hold. Now, in my experience, this will kind of deflate throughout the day, but the general shape and the curve will still be there and it'll look really nice. Now I'm taking my same GHD brush and I'm just gonna brush the ends a little bit just to make it look a little bit fluffier and bouncier. All right, you guys, this is what my hair is looking like. I absolutely love how it turned out. Please let me know if this tutorial was helpful for you. And with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good good. And I'll see you guys in my next one.